They're bringing out the glass right now. And look, I found this beautiful piece of Viking glass. I'm so excited. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I want to tell you that um, if you normally don't stick around for the hauls uh, and you just stay for the thrifting part, today you want to stick around for the haul, trust me. I found a lot of good stuff that I did not record. Um, they brought out a huge bin that was full of all costume jewelry and smalls on top. Um, so I dug and dug and found some good stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned um, and watch the whole haul video so you can see all the fun treasures I got. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back for three days in a row. Oh my goodness. Um, I usually don't come three days straight in a row, but I don't know. I did had such a good day yesterday. I figured why not come up and see what we can find. I probably won't be up here very long today because it's Friday and um, Luke's getting off early, so and the kids went back to school and then they go back to their moms. So I think we're gonna go have a little date tonight. So yeah, let's go inside the Goodwill bins and see what we can find today. The parking lot is packed full. Um, I've already got competition here. One of my guys, the friends just said hello. Actually said, hey, get out of here, but <laughs> he's just joking. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a busy busy Friday. So let's get our butts in there Okay, this is crazy. So it's Friday. It's really 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 busy in here. I walked in they Were pulling away glass bins they are gonna bring out new glass bins and they already brought out a hard row over there really really busy but I'm not gonna go over there. I'm staying right here they're bringing out the glass right now. And look, I found this beautiful piece of Viking glass. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna grab that and see what else we can find. Okay. This is the hard, that was a good glass. I'm glad I stayed at that glass where I did because I got a really good piece of Viking glass. Poppy! That'd be cute to sit like a paperweight or something in. That wood base. dropping stuff. I didn't drop this, but I'll pick it up. People are always dropping stuff. Sally G. It's just a plain blue one. But if there's a bunch of scarves, I could do a scarf lot again. A scarf lot, that'd be cool. Sometimes I like doing those. What in the world? King Snoopy. scarves in here. Oh, 
I'll do a scarf lot. There we go. That'd be cool, right? that one's no I don't like that one I don't think that's a scarf oh baby there's another scarf here's more there's another one that I missed this is for sweaters. Oh no, it's for fur. <laughs> That's, I don't like that one either. This I could put in a to a treasure bag. And look, here's more scarves. I'll do a scarf slot. There's another one. dropping stuff here's another one but that's newer I'm only trying to get the little bit older ones like silkier ones like this there's one a tie. This one's in rough shape. That one's going to stay behind. But here's another one. All right. That's awesome. Here we go, friend. What is it? Oh, that's neat. Cool. Good find. Yeah. I like it. Something. I'm like, wait, I couldn't feel what it was if it was, but it's glass. That's cool. Yeah. I found some scarves. <laughs> that's a hair tie. More scarves. All right, here's the new bins. Oh, you better go grab those Barbies for your mom, Alex. <laughs> oh. Pillows, pillows, and more pillows. Oh, look at this witch I just got out of the new bins. I don't know what she's made out of, but she smells really old. She's she's very lightweight. She's really cool. I love her. Oh. Yes, they're taking away hard goods. Gonna bring out some new hard goods. Loving it. Hopefully we can find some good treasures. Look at in the new bins. It's a whole bag of hankies. Yes, I will take that. Um, this is cute, but I think I'm gonna leave that canister because it's the only one I found. Um, he's new, but I'll probably put him in a treasure bag. And then I think people like these to hang up. So yeah, pretty cool. Confetti, Halloween confetti. No, that is a big mess. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. <laughs> Who else loved Barney? Comment below if you loved Barney when you were younger. Or if your children loved Barney. 
Alaska. I'm gonna put that into a linen bag just because it's so unique. Grandma's hugs are made of love. Oh, cute. It's uh, got vintage curlers in there and bobby pins. Cool, look at this old reel in the box. I'll take that. That's pretty neat. It's vintage. Somebody might want that. And then you could have your own photo album bag. So the fishing reel is more up Jim's alley, so I gave it to Jim. I'm gonna give it to him because he does more of that stuff than I do. Do not, do or do not, there's no try. Yoda. They always have the cutest bears in here. I wonder where the top to that is. It's a little box from Japan. Stick it in here, see if I can find the top. What's this? That's neat. That'll go into a treasure bag. It's kind of cool. Treasure bag it. are full. Sometimes it's really hard to dig in. And there's trash mixed with treasures. She's missing her legs and her hair's all falling apart. That is so cute. It's in rough shape. That's stinking adorable. Oh, that's cute. I wonder what that went to. Well, I filled my cart today at the Goodwill bins full of treasures. This is for mom because she loves the ceramic elves. So she's going to paint this one and put it with her collection. And then, yeah, I got to go through some stuff. So let's go check out and then we will get right into the haul. Okay, guys, we made it back from the Goodwill bins, and today I ended up spending $35, so I don't think I did too bad. 
um, for everything I got. So let's get right into the haul. Um, this was one of the things that I picked up. This is going to mom. Um, this came out in the glass bins and she has a big collection of the ceramic elves. There was two other ones in there, but she already has two like those ones. So she said, just get this one. So I left the other two behind, but it needs repainted. She's, um, basically a pro at that. So she is going to repaint it, but isn't he the cutest? And he's quite large. He is a big ceramic elf. So I picked that guy up for mom. And then I found this witch. She came out in the new bins right in front of me. She's very lightweight, but I absolutely love her. I love her pumpkin that she's holding um, and her little shoes. I don't know if she's like made out of styrofoam. She might be made out of styrofoam. Maybe that's why she's so lightweight, but she has a lot of detail and is in very, very good condition. Look at her red hair and her glittery outfit. I mean, she's awesome. And she even has earrings and teeth. I, I love her. I thought she was so cool. So she came home with me. And then I did pick up this out of the glass bins. And it's not... It has like a pinkish color to it. It's not just plain cl uh, clear glass. It has sort of a pinkish color to it. So I thought that was really pretty. Um, a glass apple paperweight, smooth polished bottom, really good condition, no chips or cracks. And so I thought that was really fun. And a little miniature deck of Snoopy cards. These are so cute. They're from Hallmark, the little plain miniature playing Snoopy cards. Cute. So those came home with me. Um, this was my favorite, favorite thing that I found. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This is a beautiful Viking glass, half um, an orb, like mid-century. And, um, I love it. It, it. It's really dusty. I need to clean it up, but it is stunning. My favorite, favorite find rolled right out in front of me in the glass bins. No chips, no cracks. These are worth quite a bit of money. Um, I think they're worth like anywhere from 75 to $90 online. So that's pretty cool. Some even go higher. That one is a large one, so that was a pretty cool find. And then I did get Luke. I did find Luke a really nice Under Armour hoodie. Um, so this right here alone, if you were to buy this new in the store, this is like $60. So it's really nice and good shape. So that's going to Luke. And then I found a whole scarf collection a whole bunch of different vintage scarves there's so many of them in here like so I'm gonna do a whole scarves lot because and look of them some of them still have their original vintage tags on there like made in Japan so some of them are pure silk there's just a whole lot tons and tons of them so I'm gonna do a whole vintage scarves lot <laughs> They just keep coming. There's so many. Look at the vintage tags in there. They are older. And then I couldn't believe it. And the hard goods, I haven't even went through these. I just picked up the bag. This is a whole bag of hankies. These came out in the hard goods. Usually I have to dig in the soft for them but these are all in the hard goods a lot of hankies I, and that's a scarf that's a scarf in there so that'll go into the scarf lot that's i think that's a pretty good one what's that say yeah that's made in japan scarves by vera so that'll go with the scarves and that might actually sell by itself here's another vintage scarf in there 
So it's scarves and hankies. That's so cool. That's a pretty scarf. Made in Japan. That's gonna be a fun lot. Yes. Cool, cool. And I picked up, this is going to mom. She wanted this. She likes these little brooms. So this is gonna go to her. I picked up this miniature set. Oh my gosh, aren't they adorable little piggies? Little piggies in the box. Um, then I got this whole entire kid set. It's like little cups and there's some plates and a tray and then a little pitcher type thing. Look how cute. So adorable. I just think that set was so fun. So a whole cute little metal vintage kid set. This I picked up. I thought this was cool because it's still in its original box and it's a bookmark. It says um, 1928 Gift Accessory Co. is where it's from and it's a, it's a metal bookmark and it's got a cameo on there. So I thought that was really fun. And the box even says 1928 right there. Um, I picked up this beautiful ephemera card picture holder type thing. I like it. It is metal and in really good condition. So that came home with me. A butterfly earring holder. I thought that was a lot of fun. You can hold your earrings in there. Not one little friend. He's so cute. I need to see if I can get that sticker off. I should have done that first. Um, I don't want to rip the cardboard. Oh, it's coming off really good. Here we go. Guess who loves you? So not one little cute little monkey that sucks his thumb. See, he can suck his thumb right there. <laughs> um, and he's got his tag right there. But I did get two. Now this one needs a little cleaning. He is a little dirty. He's got a couple little dirty spots on him, but he's adorable. Aren't they so stinking cute? He also sucks his thumb. <laughs> and he's pink. He's a pink one. So I thought these were a lot of fun. So cute and adorbs. Uh, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff for a treasure bag. Now this is gonna take a second to go through. I, I got more stuff in the sack, but we'll go through this really quickly first. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy. He's a cute little nanny hugger pixie elf, a felt one. He's vintage from Japan. Unfortunately, he's missing a leg. He's an amputee. He only has one little one little leg, but that's okay. He's still cute, right? And adorable. I love him. Um, this is a metal key to Des Moines. It says the key to the city, Des Moines, Iowa. So I thought that was really cool. This little plaque type thing. It's a wall hanging. You can hang it up on your wall. It's Somebody said it's from Graz, no, September 13th, 1996, West Bend, Iowa. Oh, it's from the Grotto. That's pretty cool. It's like a little um, souvenir piece from the Grotto. I like that. That's really strange because my brother is there actually today in the same exact place vis visiting it. So that's weird. How ironic. And then I picked up this doorknob. It's just a single doorknob. Um, this one's Lucite, and this one does glow. I shined my black light on it when I was picked it up, and it does glow, so I was like, that's pretty cool. I like that. A cute little wooden 
pal type thing. So cute. A whole bag of vintage dice. There's so many in there. I think these red ones might be Bakelite. I'm pretty sure the red ones are Bakelite, but I could be wrong. Um, some of them are really old, see? And I think the older ones are Bakelite. This cute little tin, um, like a springy type tin. I like the lithograph on there. And it is made in Hong Kong, 1976, it says. Right there, 1976, Hong Kong. So I thought that was cool. And inside, it's got a whole little kid's tea set. Like a little plastic tea set in there. Little cups and saucers and a teapot and stuff. So I thought that was adorable for a treasure bag. Um, there was some, uh, this bin, I should have recorded it. It was a new bin that came out. Um, it was completely, uh, full on the top. Somebody had just took a bunch of costume jewelry and just dumped it, just dumped it all in the back. So I had to sit there and go through it all. I picked out some things. There was a tons of other people going through it at the same time as me. I got what I could, but I just threw a bunch of stuff in a bag. This is a little locket type thing. So I thought that was cute. Um, this little clippy, what is it? Jewels by Park Lane. Designed in Italy, assembled in Korea, exclusive for Park Lane. That's what it says on the back. So I thought that was really cute. Um, this vintage patch is in there. A hanky that'll go into the hanky lot. This little vintage San plastic Santa in the sleigh. Um, he's going to go into the Christmas treasure bag. I'm going to, I'm filling up a Christmas treasure bag. This cute little wooden box with the yin yang sign on there. I thought that was cute. This I thought was really fun. It's in its package and look, it is Raku. It is Raku. So I thought that was neat. It's like a heart with a design on it, a hand or something. Cute little vintage cabbage patch stamp. These I don't know what they're for, but they're really neat. I don't know if they're like real silver or what they're even for, but there's a few cards of those in there, different letters. Um, there's a bunch of these. I don't know if these are real silver or not, but there's a bunch of these makeup brushes in there that are metal like that. Let's see, there's some in this bag. So that's a lot of fun. And then these were in the bag. This, what does this say? This is old. I can't read what it says, but it is like an old spoon with a face on it. Like an old baby spoon with a face on it. I thought that was really cool. Um, an old fork. And then this metal key type thing. Isn't that neat? I don't know what it is, but it's, it was all in the bag. So I just thought that was cool. I went through that bin again. Um, and I didn't see anything. Any other... You know, a lot of people were going through it, like I said, at the same time. So, I got what I could. Um, this was in there. It's like a belt. And it is all beaded. That is all beaded. See that? 
Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? That took somebody a lot of time to make this piece and do all this work. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. So that came home with me, this little owl um, earring holder. I thought that was fun. A little strawberry charisma. I don't know if it's a little perfume bottle. I don't know. But I think that's glass. It's a glass strawberry, so I thought that was pretty cool. Another hanky that says mother. It's embroidered. It's a little bit dirty, but pretty cool. Another patch, a rose. Little ceramic pottery Dutch shoes. I thought those were cute. Another letter. A little metal old picture frame type thing. It's like a, oh yeah, see it folds out right there and then you can set it out. That's different. Huh. That's pretty cool. Mom's probably going to say, I want that. <laughs> she likes stuff like that. Um, this I thought was really fun. What's it say? Max Factor. Something, something. So that's cool. It's a neat piece. All this was just laying in the bins. A metal dragon. Pretty cool. Here's another one of those letters that wasn't in the package. A single fish earring. I could only find one, but it's so cool. See how it moves? It's kind of like Coisonne. And then a guardian angel coin. That was all in that bag. Like, well, I put it all in one bag. And then there's some more stuff. More smalls. This little redware shot glass. I thought that was cute with the bird on it. I've never seen one like that before. Um, This little uh, camera type thing. And you push it down, and it's got vintage photos, like vintage pictures in there. Kind of like a vent little Viewmaster, but I thought that was cute. A glass doorknob. This one is glass. A little cross. Another hanky. A cute little glass bird. The smooth polished bottom. Unfortunately, he does have a chipped beak, but he's still super cute and adorable. I like the glass bird. It's hard to tell his beak's chipped, but it is a little bit rough right there on the end. He's adorable. Um, a nude lady. A, like a plastic nude lady. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Fun piece. A castle with a crystal on it. That kind of matches that dragon with a crystal. Maybe I'll sell those together. Um, a Winnie the Pooh pin. Vintage Winnie the Pooh pin. A ceramic horsey. A vintage miniature ceramic horse. And then the unicorn with the crystal on it. So all that is pretty cool. I dug all that out of that bin. 
And then I found this little vintage metal egg. I don't know if it went to a toy, some metal toy or something like that, but I thought that was so kitschy and cute and adorable. So, and it does, you can take it apart. So I don't know why it has the hole in there, but I just thought that was so cute. Line it back up the right way. Right? And that adorbs. <laughs> and then I did pick up a few pieces of the vintage doll clothes that I found in there just so I could stick them on the dolls that I picked up the other day that don't have clothes. I'm hoping that they fit. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. So those three pieces of vintage doll clothes. And then a little miniature a and w mug it's tiny it's just a tiny little guy so cute that's in, in really good condition and this vintage beaver bank I, I, it's plastic it's a beaver and i've never seen anything like it i thought that was a lot of fun look at his little beaver tail and there's the stopper in really good condition too. Um, it is marked Re Royal Toy, Toronto, Canada. So really cute. Fun bank. And a whole entire stack of lemons. A whole entire stack. Now, some of these are pillowcases. Um, some of them are, what is this? I don't know if that's a pillowcase or not. I haven't opened it yet, but I just grabbed all the embroidered ones. That still has its tag. Let's see. It is a pillowcase. Beautiful pillowcase. Well, I don't know if this one has its mate or not, but that's really pretty. All embroidered. Here's another little embroidered piece. It's like a little table runner, small one. A little table center piece, I guess. Here's another one. Let's see. All embroidered. Very pretty. Another one. This one, table runner, it's got like butterflies on there. Cute. Oops. This one, these are cute. This one. Ooh, this next piece, I love, love, love. This was in the bin that had all the, all the jewelry and stuff in it. It's like a vintage little tiny miniature tree skirt for a miniature tree. See? Isn't that cute and adorable? It's got Santa sleigh, Merry Christmas, and the jingle bells on there. So I thought that was a lot of fun. A little hanky. This one's really stiff. Really, really, really stiff. That's a table runner. I think this is a pillow cover. No, this is a table runner. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. Oh, well, this next pillowcase was one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, so cute and adorable. It is a pillowcase, all embroidered. This little, um, is it like a hand towel, tea towel, all embroidered, really cute with the tulips. This says this is a flower sack. Somebody was just must have got rid of their booth or something. That's fun. Because all these linens were in one. Most of these linens were all in one um, one bin that came out. Here's a pillow case. Really cute with those flowers on there. 
Here's the matching one to it. This embroidered. A lot of these are stiff and nice, like in clean. I don't wash any of the linens because I know some people don't like them washed. And if you do like them washed, then, you know, you could just do it yourself. <laughs> um, but a lot of people don't like them washed, so that's why I don't. Here is another pillowcase. Lots of pillowcases. And, oh, here is the matchy-matchy to the nice one that still has its tag. Here is the matchy-matchy. So that is a fun find. I got all that for $37, quite a big haul, or $35, 37 I spent the day before, 35 today. I got all that for $35. I don't think I did too bad at all. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, um, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Uh, most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a no notification every time I go live and when I post new picking and thrifting videos. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun today. Uh, I did quite well, I think. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.